We can see an example of a bad video feed as it seems like another feed is interfering with ours. This clip shows that there are two pilots attempting to fly together yet our goggle is constantly showing the wrong camera feed. In this video, we'll briefly explain why these things happen and how to resolve it. The key for best video connection is to match the same frequency with However, when there are more than two or more IQ probes being used at the same time, it is important to know to space out the frequency as much as possible. Using the chart, bands A, B, F, and R can overlap with one another. When two or more transmitters are sending out similar frequencies, this is where we get the bleed over images. The best solution is to space out the video frequency by manually changing the video transmitter and making that gap as large as possible. To change the video frequency, press the frequency change button. This button will cycle through band B's channels. The video example you see is where the video transmitter went from B2 to B4. Please refer to the card at the top of the video on how to change your goggle frequency in another video we made. Auto search might be convenient but not optimized for best performance. In this example, F4 is selected but we know that IQ Pro only uses B band. This is because F4 is 5800 MHz, but actually the video transmitter is sent on B4. Because it is only 10 MHz in difference, the auto search incorrectly connected to F4. It might not seem like a big deal, but when the video link is challenged, i.e. flying further away or in between objects, it will start to affect the video's performance. We recommend manually matching the frequencies with the goggles for best results.